Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Gothenburg Museum of Art here in Sweden. Gothenburg, of course, is the hometown of camera and lens manufacturer Hasselblad, and the factory is just a short 10 minutes drive away across the city from where we are right now. Uh, Gothenburg, if you haven't been, is a beautiful city. I recommend you come along. Uh, I wouldn't describe it as the city that never sleeps, um, although it might be right now if you turn up without your eye mask. Um, we're two days away from midsummer here, and it's bright right through till 11 o'clock at night, and then the sun's hammering on the, on the window in the morning about four o'clock, so it can be quite difficult to sleep. I'm Damien Demolder. I'm a photographer and journalist. And we're here today with Hasselblad as the company announces uh, an exciting new product that it's saying is game-changing. Um, we're about to start the presentation. As you can see, the, the press and retailers are gathered here together um, waiting to see what's going to happen. There's a real buzz around this new product. Uh, people are expecting something really significant, something exciting, something really different from Hasselblad. Uh, that's what the teasers have been telling us. So we'll just have to wait and see uh, what happens. This of course is the second new uh, product announcement for Hasselblad this year. Um, in April in London the company launched the H6D which is a modular medium format system camera. It comes with a 50 million pixel or a 100 million pixel back. Um, it's quite unusual to have two product launches from Hasselblad in one year um, and it's only June. 2006, though, is an important year for Hasselblad. It marks 75 years of the company's camera manufacturing. Obviously, the company's been going a lot longer than that. It was established in 1841. But it's only since 1941 that the, camera, uh, the company's been actually making cameras. Uh, the... the uh, in that short period of time, that 75 years, a uh, camera company, uh, Hasselblad, has made some pretty famous products, including the, the camera that was used uh, on the moon landings in 1969. That was the 500 LE. And that camera and a lot of other the historic uh, companies' products are right next door uh, in the room here in the museum uh, on display for people to see today. The Gothenburg uh, Art Museum actually houses the Hasselblad Foundation, uh, which looks after thousands of cameras and lenses and artifacts and memorabilia from the Hasselblad collection. And I'm told that there's 14,000 photography books here from Victor Hasselblad's own collection. Uh, it's quite a serious uh, collection. It's the only museum, uh, the only library, sorry, in Sweden that's entirely dedicated to photography. I quite like to spend some time there myself. So I think everybody's seated here now. Um, there's quite a few people not seated because there's not enough room. Um, there's so much excitement about this launch. Uh, stay tuned. In a moment, I'm going to introduce uh, Hasselblad CEO Perry Eusting, uh, and then we'll start the presentation. I just need to make some housekeeping announcements to, uh, to the, the crowd here. So hold on just a second for us. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Gothenburg Museum of Art and this Hasselblad announcement. Uh, my name is Damien Demolder. I'm not your master of ceremonies today. Um, I'm a photography journalist, but Hasselblad has asked me to um, help out with the presentation. Before we start, a little bit of housekeeping. Could you switch your phones to airplane mode and turn your Wi-Fi off? The whole event today is being live streamed uh, around the globe, so our friends who couldn't be here with us today uh, can also join in. And the tech guys don't want anything to go wrong with the connection. So Wi-Fi off and airplane mode as well if you can, please. Feel free to take pictures, um, but just hold on to those tweets until the event's over. So 2016 is a really significant year for Hasselblad. Uh, it marks 75 years of the company's camera manufacturing. I think most of us know a little bit about some of the really significant products this iconic brand uh, created in that time. Uh, but I'm a big fan of camera history. So we're going to start the presentation today uh, with a little reminder of some of the, the achievements um, that Hasselblad has created. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Hasselblad CEO, Mr. Perry Oosting. Thank you. Thank you, Damien. Thank you, Damien, for uh, helping us out today. Welcome. Good afternoon, Göteborg. Good afternoon here at the museum in Göteborg. But also good afternoon to the team that is sitting and watching live in Lindholmen, our headquarters just across the river. But also a good morning to the viewers in the US and in the Americas. And good evening or good late afternoon in Asia and all the viewers online today. Welcome, dear members of the press, trade partners, ambassador friends and colleagues. And I would like to start with the colleagues. Because we are here today, and for us it's a very special moment. But this special moment could have only happened with the team of Hasselblad. The team here in Göteborg, the R&D team, design team, product managers, finance, marketing, and all the teams in the regions because you made this happen today. So a big, as they say in Swedish, tak semuke. And please apologize for my pronunciation because probably my Swedish accent is still not the best one. But a big thank you to you because that's why we're here today. <laughs> we saw the story of Hasselblad and I come back to that, but I want to become, I want to refer back a little bit shorter in time. At the end of 2014, at the beginning of 2015, we started to re-strategize the direction of the company. And we invested heavily in R&D, and we have a new roadmap and a new direction and a new plan. We have a relatively new management team. We put the resources behind, especially on the product development. Because we believed that celebrating 2016 can only be done by great product. And that started already in the beginning of this year, in the beginning of April, on the 7th of April, we launched the new H66 system. Where we started from scratch, we started with a white piece of paper and created a completely new electronic platform. And the reaction of the press, of our trade partners, but moreover, our users, has been significant. Of the H6, in one month, order intake, we had projections fulfilled till the end of the year. So it was a big success, and also from the user, what we hear as feedback is very positive. And that electronic platform is also a platform as a base and a foundation for future development. When we launched the H6, we also said there's more to come. And all the journalists ask me, so what's that? And before we start on that, I want to show you the picture that was part of the introduction. And this is a picture of Victor when he was 17 years old. Victor was, even before he started the Hasselblad camera brand, a passionate bird and landscape photographer. But if you look at this picture, he had a big wooden box. And that was his frustration. He said, that is too bulky. This is not a portable camera. I need to develop a new one. And as you saw what he said before, he put the ambition high. And that resulted in 1948 of the 1600, which was the first consumer camera. And then later in 1957, the 500, which we call now the V system. That vision was driven to have great optical quality in a portable format and a modular format. And that was our inspiration and our starting point to launch a second new exciting product in 2016. Please join me because we hope to write another chapter in the Hasselblad story.
This is home. This is our light. This is freedom. Creativity. This is precision. This is passion. This is our inspiration. This is our future. This is your freedom. This is our passion. This is X One D. This is X One D. Also for the viewers online, a little close-up shot. Wrong camera. Wrong camera. Wrong camera. Wrong camera. Wrong camera. We still have a lot of work to do. Um, before I introduce Ova, we will tell you more about the product and the specification is uh, we have shared this camera with some of our key partners uh, under NDA, under embargo. And about 99.9% .9 kept the NDA and the embargo. But the reaction that we received was enormous positive. Some of the key partners were impressed about the weight, the size, capabilities, and a key partner called one of our subsidiary heads, and he said, that thing, I'm not so sure about that thing, but it's sexy. It's real sexy. I think it's going to move. I think it's going to sell. So many, many partners gave us feedback, and I think for that we're really proud because it's not what we say about the product, is that what our users are saying about the product and how our partners are experiencing this product. Enough said, I think there's somebody here who can speak much better about the product and that is Mr. Ober Bankston. He's our head of product, many years with House of Blood and please give him a great <laughs> round of applause. Take it away. Thank you, Perry. <laughs> Thank you. Nice one, right? <laughs> um, it's great to see so many people here. Uh, and I'm really, really proud to finally, finally be able to talk about this product and to show it. 
because we are really proud of it. As Perry mentioned, portability was one of the key features for Victor. He wanted a portable camera for his own use. And that, in the end, led him to make the 500C and the 1600F and all these nice cameras. And this is something, the portability, that we have really focused on when we did the X1D. And, of course, weight is an important factor when it comes to portability. So the X1D weighs as much as a packet of Swedish knäckebröd. <laughs> Slightly smaller, doesn't taste as well, and it has the same weight as half a MacBook Air. And the weight of the camera is 725 grams. It feels really solid, but it's also very light. The next thing is, of course, size, how big it is. And when comparing size with a full format rangefinder camera, we can see that the size of the cameras are fairly identical, but the difference in sensor size is enormous. Comparing with the regular DSLR, well, the X1D is a small camera, but the sensor is huge. Even comparing with an APS size camera is fully possible. The camera size is, well, not identical, but similar. But the difference in sensor size and hence image quality is tremendous. Next thing for portability and ease of operation is, of course, ergonomics. The way that you can hold the camera and the way that you operate the camera. We have worked a lot and we have made many, many different design iterations to achieve this result. And for those of you here in the room, you will have a possibility to test the camera later. You will surely feel it. For people watching online, please book a demo. You will love it. The UI, the user interface of the camera, it builds on the user interface that we have developed for the professional H60 cameras. It is a full multi-touch display where you have, in this case, nine different shortcuts that you can select which ones you need that are shortcuts to your most frequently used functions. And then there are three main icons for different menus like camera settings, video settings, and general settings. And here is a little movie, a little video, that shows what it looks like. Now this is the camera menu. You set something in the exposure menu. You scroll until you find the setting you need. You swipe away. You swipe down the control screen from which you can always do all the camera settings. Aperture, shutter speed. And also ISO settings. All the way up to 25,600 ISO. The camera has an electronic viewfinder called EVF. And the information you see when taking pictures looks basically like this. It can be changed, so you can add grid lines. You can even do settings without leaving the viewfinder. So push the ISO button, and instantly you can switch ISO value, and you clearly see the change. Same with white balance. And the X1D camera builds clearly on the development of the H6D camera with the new electronic platform, it has the same 50 megapixel CMOS sensor, providing amazing image quality. It gives you a dynamic range up to 14 stops. It gives the possibility of having an ISO value from 100 to 25,600 with excellent, fantastic image quality. 
It does, of course, RAW and or JPEG. It features a dual SD card slot. It can do full HD video in 25 frames per second. And it has a USB 3 connection to your computer. Lenses, we have designed a completely new lens line called the XCD lenses for the X1D camera. These lenses, high performance lenses, they feature autofocus functionality as well as manual focusing. And they have a built-in central lens shutter, same as the one used in the professional H series of lenses. At the introduction, we will have two lenses, a 45 mm 3.5 and a 90 mm 3.2. We will add new lenses to this range, of course, and already for Photokina, we will add a 30 mm lens. And for those of you who know your history about the X-Pan, might see some similarities in the focal length. Just a coincidence. And of course, all the H lenses will work on the X1D by means of a very simple adapter. So you can use, at the beginning, 14 different lenses. Here is what the camera looks like in a 360 spin. Beautiful design, very sleek. And it's extremely thin for being a medium format camera. Really cool. We believe that with the X1D, we have created something that is really spectacular and very much in line with what Victor would have wanted. A small, portable camera providing excellent and amazing image quality and in a very compact size with iconic design. And I'm pretty sure that if Victor could see us now, he would be extremely proud. Thank you for listening, and now back to Perry. Thank you. Oh, we didn't want to let uh, the camera go. He's usually like that. So, uh, great moment for us. Handmade in Sweden. Some of you here in the audience were able to come this morning to see our production and see the Handmade in Sweden. And we are also open to any other journalist to make an appointment and see the production here in Sweden. Completely redone, or not a floor, a new setup, and also to support the operational readiness when we start ramping up this product. The product delivery. We aim to start with demo at the end of July, beginning of August, and to deliver the product at the end of August, beginning of September. It's what we said when we delivered the, and announced the H6, that we will deliver, and we did do the delivery at the end of April. Same is for the X1D. The camera comes um, together. There is an accessory we have developed, and the accessory is a small bag because portability comes with a bag. That is done in collaboration with Billingham. You will see later on the ones that are here present, uh, the bag. It's a, it's a small bag. It's smaller than a small backpack. One lens, one camera, and that will also be available when the product will be launched. Price point. Price point, there were a lot of blocks on, on the web. Do I need to sell my kidneys? We do not want to sell your kidneys. So we have strived to have a price point that we believe is very much competitive in the medium format market. And the price point is in euros, 7,900 euros XVAT. 
exciting moment, um, special moment, and again, thank you to the team. And here's the product one more time, and I ask now to come over back on stage with Damien, as there were some questions, and I think it would be good now that we have the opportunity, some of the comments on the web to address them, and I think that Damien has made a little selection of those questions. Okay, thanks, gentlemen. Okay, we've been looking at the web and the Twitter feed and um, finding out some of the common questions for the guys to answer. So the first one uh, is kind of funny. Uh, it says, is this camera or its lenses designed by or in collaboration with Fuji? Yeah. Everybody wants to know this. Yeah. I, uh, I, can, I do understand that this question comes up, of course, X1D, X-Pen, the history, etc. But let me be very, very clear. First of all, we have a fantastic relationship with Vucci. As a matter of fact, three weeks ago, we were in Japan, and we have a good relationship with each other, like with many other manufacturers. But this product has been completely designed, concepted, produced, manufactured here in Sweden. As well as the lenses are concepted by us, designed by us, and manufactured in Japan by Nito. So Fuji has got nothing to do with it? Absolutely nothing. Okay. Thank you. Okay, other questions are about the price. I think people are quite surprised um, that the price is quite low. Um, and they're asking, why is the price so much lower than other medium format bodies? Is, is, the, is it made of clay or wood or something? Yeah, actually it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, the, the H camera is a system. Uh, system camera, it's built with an optical viewfinder, with mirrors, and stuff like that. Different autofocus system. And it's a modular concept. And Perry will explain some more details about the pricing structure. Well, look, the eighth uh, system is uh, a system. So it is uh, a system there for many years, an established system, a choice of 12 lenses, um, and an upgradability and a trade-in opportunity. So it is actually for the user that constantly want to upgrade that element. That's one thing. That's a, a difference compared to the X1D. Here, we, of course, have still a limited range of lenses, but with the adapter, also the availability for the H lenses. And being mirrorless, uh, therefore, there is this price difference. We have not chosen to do a way to cut cost. As a matter of fact, we would like to reach more people to give that expansion and being the enabler for their creativity, not through the megapixel, but also through to the size of the sensor. Okay, that's great. Actually, that leads on to the next question, which is, who's this camera aimed at? Is it a pro camera or is it amateur camera or a bit of both? Your answer is the last one, a bit of both. So we see this camera certainly aimed to our existing customers as well. There's a more the portable camera, maybe an additional camera, uh, at the same time, we see also the dedicated amateur, the enthusiast, the semi-professional to get started from maybe upgrading a DSLR full frame to medium format and to the 50 megapixel sensor. I think that is an, uh, an opportunity. Also reading the blogs, there has been many requests on that, and I think this is actually the right tool for that audience. Okay, great. Uh, the last question is... Um uh, Hasselblad has always said that you, it's about optical quality and it's about the lenses and you've just introduced a whole new lens range. Are the uh, XCD lenses going to be as good as H lenses? I think Hasselblad can only have the best lenses possible. So these lenses, new XCD lenses, they have the same performance level as all the H lenses have. They are spectacular. Okay, so no skimping on the quality? No, we can do that. <laughs> okay, I think that's what we wanted to hear. Yeah. Uh, last question here is, uh, when will we see more rebadged luxury cameras from Hasselblad? So, and do you have anything else planned for this year? Because it's a fairly keener year, and you can't possibly not launch something else. Maybe we can turn it around. Maybe this camera will be rebadged. <laughs> <laughs> There's no rebatch camera. This is the direction. I think we've been clear with when we launched the H6, 
and uh, rebuilding from there where we have our core DNA, which is the optical quality, the iconic design, the Swedish craftsmanship, and the living history. And that's the way forward, and this is the product number two of 2016. And uh, yeah, that's the direction. Anything for later in the year? There's more to come. Of course, we have Photokina. Uh, there's more to come, uh, but this is certainly a milestone, we believe, in the product roadmap for 2016. This is a product that we see going forward for many years to come, and, uh, and there will be more surprises at Photokina. Okay. We like surprises. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Coming to the end, um, I thank the team. Um, we still have to thank uh, three photographers because we have started to shoot with a camera. And uh, the topic was freedom, so their, uh, their creativity in terms of freedom. So a big thank you to Rankin, to Laura Bailey, and to Aorta, who are present here today. And uh, we have for the audience here in Göteborg the gallery open the product ready to touch and feel, and to also see the product, feel the product, experience the product, and uh, for the audience that are watching online, there will be local launches, actually today in New York, on Monday in Shanghai, and in Hong Kong, and other parts of the world, so you have the opportunity to touch and feel the product. I can only remain to say, again, as in good Swedish, Taksemuke, Thank you very much, and uh, to Damien, to the team, and everybody, everybody that made this happen. Thank you very much. This is home. This is our light. This is freedom. Creativity. This is precision. This is passion. This is our inspiration. This is our future. This is your freedom. This is our passion. This is 
X1D.